أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصدها ما كانت تعبد من دون الله انها كانت من قوم كافرين قيل لها ادخل الصرح فلما راته حسبته لجة وكشفت عن ساقيها قال انه صرح ممرض من قوارير قالت رب اني ظلمت نفسي واسلمت مع سليمان لله رب العالمين صدق الله العظيم these two ayat remained from the third section of surah al maml the end of the story of hazrat sulaiman alayhi salam and the queen of sheba when she said that this throne is just like mine it's, it's as if it's the same and then also said wa utina al ilma min qablaha wa kunna muslimin we have had the knowledge already that you are not a simple king not a common man you are something else and we had ourselves submitted and surrendered maybe to allah also and maybe to you wa saddaha ma kana ta'budu min dunillah then hazrat sulaiman alayhi salam stopped her from worshiping which she used to worship beside allah inna kanat min qaumin kafirin verily she was from among the people who were disbelieving dilal adkhul sarh and then it was said to her enter the palace falamma ra'athu hasibatu lujatan when she saw it she thought that it was water wa kashafat an saqaiha so she uncovered her legs قال انه صرح ممرض من قواري سليمان said it's not water this is a palace which has been lined by glasses crystal or glass qalat rabb inni zalamtu nafsi then she said oh my lord i have been doing wrong to myself wa aslamtu ma sulaiman lillahi rabbil alamin and now i surrender with sulaiman to allah the lord of all the worlds now this was the part of the surah relating some story of a prophet of allah subhanahu wa taala now again we revert to the ambaur rusul wa laqad arsalna ila samud aqahu salihan and we had sent to the nation of samud their brother salih alayhi salam an ibudullah faizahu fariqan yaqtasibun that you should worship allah subhanahu wa taala so lo they became two parties quarreling with each other qala ya qaum lima tastajiruna bi sayyat qabl al hasana and the disbelievers must have said okay saleh bring the chastisement that you have been you have been threatening us with but he said qala ya qaum oh my people lima tastajiruna bi sayyat qabl al hasana why do you want to hasten the evil thing before good laud ha tastaghfirun allah la allakum turhamun why don't you ask the forgiveness of allah subhanahu wa taala maybe that he shows mercy upon you qalu tayyarna bika wa biman ma'aka they said we augur ill omen of you and those who are with you qala ta'irukum inna allah he said your ill omen is with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bal antum qaumun tuftanun but you are the people who are being tested and tried wa kana fil madinati tisatu rahatin and there were in this city 
a group of nine persons, yufsaduna fil land, who were used to do, making mischief in the land, wala yuslihun, and they didn't want to have matters in a correct way. Qalu taqasamu billahi. They said with the, to each other, let us swear by Allah among ourselves, lanubayyatannahu wa ahlahu. We should attack him, Saleh, and his family. Kill them. Summa lana ulanna le waliyehi. Then we shall say to, to their heir, heir, ma shahidna mahalika ahlihi. We never witnessed the destruction of his family. Vainala sadiqun. And we are true. What we are saying is true. Now this was the same plot that was being hatched at Makkah. For Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, people, the Quraysh, the chiefs, they gathered together. They said, if some one goes and kills Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then you know Banu Hashim will demand revenge from that family. So you should do that from every big family of the Quraysh, one young man should be taken, and all of them should be entrusted with this mission of killing Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, murdering him. So they should gather round the house of the Prophet ﷺ, and then attack jointly, so that the blame will not come to any one family, but it will be shared by all the families, and then you know Baru Hashim will not be able to ask for revenge from all the families of Quraysh. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed the Prophet, he got out, and they couldn't saw, they couldn't see Muhammad ﷺ going out. And the Prophet asked Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu to lie in his bed, and he went out, and they couldn't see him. Well, this is a miracle by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he possessed their sights at that time, that the Prophet went out of his house, but they couldn't see him. So the same, you know, plot was being hatched by those nine persons. And they devised their plan, and we also devised their plan. And they have no thought of it. That is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to send the chastisement and that, you know, punishment to annihilate them. Fandur kaifa kana aqibatu makrihim. Now see what was the end of their plotting. Anna dabarnahum. We destroyed them all. Wa qawmahum and also their nation. Ajma'een. All together. Fatilka buyutuhum khawiyatun. Now there are their houses which have fallen down, Mima Zalamu, due to their evil acts. These houses are not to be found today. They had two types of dwellings, the Samud. One house is one type of houses they carved in the mountains. So they are still present today. But in the plains they used to make houses of mud, etc. But they are not. No, no remains of those houses are to be seen now. But those houses that they carved in the mountains, they are there. A few years back, I visited the place, I saw it. فَتِلْكَ بُيُوتُهُمْ خَابِيَةً بِمَا ظَلَمُوا إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَا آيَةً لِقَوْمِي عَلَمُونَ Verily, this is a sign for those people who have knowledge. وَأَنْجَيْنَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَكَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ And we saved those who had believed, and they were God-fearing. Walutan is qara liqawmi. In the same way, we sent Lut, alayhi salatu wassalam. When he said to his nation, Atatun al-fahishat awantum tubsirun. Are you committing indecency? What an evil indecency. Awantum tubsirun, and you do it, and watch it. Watch each other doing it. أَيْنَّكُمْ لَتَعْتُونَ الرِّجَالَ شَهْبَةً Do you approach men for your sexual desire? مِنْ دُونِ النِّسَاء Leaving alone the women. بَلْ أَنْتُمْ قَوْمٌ تَجْحَلُونَ They are, but you are surely senseless people. فَمَا كَانَ جَوَابَ قَوْمِهِ But there was no answer of his nation. إِلَّا أَنْ قَالُوا Except that they said, أَخْرِجُوا عَلَى لُوتِ مِنْ قَرِيَتِكُمْ Expel this family of Lut from your city. Innahum unasun yatatahharun. 
they are they claim to be pure and pious people it was a taunting mood they are very pious people well we are sinning people so they shouldn't have they shouldn't be allowed to live with us they should be turned away they should be expelled fan jayna ho wa ahlahu illa marata so we delivered him and his family except his wife padarna min al ghabirin we had already ordained that she will be among those who were left behind wa amtarna alayhim matara and then we sent a rain over that dam fasabat al munzarin so how evil was the rain which was sent to those people who had been warned qul alhamdulillah wa salam ala ibadihi allazina istafa say all praise be to allah subhanahu wa taala wa salam ala ibadihi and peace be upon his bondsmen and servants whom he has chosen this is tafa we read it in surah al hajj allah yastafi min al malaikati rusulan wa min an nas allah chooses his messengers from among the angels as well as from among human beings jibril the angel he is number 1 chosen for this messengership and number 2 muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and so on before muhammad so many other messengers were chosen qul alhamdulillah say all praise be to allah wa salamun ala ibadihi alladhina istafa and peace be upon those servants whom he had chosen for this mission of messenger god allahu khairun amma yushrikun is allah better or what they associate with him now from here you know this is at tazkir bi ala illah the third section of this surah i told you three types of subjects in makki surahs tazkir bi ala illah tazkir bi ayyam illah abaw rusul and then the stories of the prophets of allah subhanahu wa taala so we have had two now the third am man khalaqa as-samawati wal ardha wa anzala lakum minas samaa'i ma who is the one who created the heavens and the earth and sent down for you minan from the heaven water fa abatna bihi hadaiq zata bahjan bahjatin and then he grew with that water orchards which are of the right ma kana lakum an tum bitu shajara ha it was not possible for you to grow their trees ay lahu ma allah now this is the question with piercing eyes what do you say ay lahu ma allah is there any other god with allah subhanahu wa taala who has done this bal hum qaum yadilun ne but they are making others equal to allah am man jaala al arda qarara who is he who has made the earth a fixed abode a place to stay wajala khilalaha anhara and placed rivers in its midst wajala lawa rawasiya and then he fixed upon it mountains wajala bayr al bahrain hajiza and he has put between two currents of the sea a barrier ailahum allah is there any other or ilah with allah subhanahu wa taala any other god with him bal aksaruhum la ya'lamun nay but most of them no not amma yujimul mustarra iza da'ah or who is he who listen to the discussed one when he calls upon him and accepts his prayers wa yakshifu su'a and then he relieves him of his suffering and affliction wa yaj'alu lakum wa yaj'alu kum khulafa al ard and he makes you the successors in this earth ailahu ma allah is there any other god with allah qalila ma tazakkarun is very little that you are admonished amma yahdikum fi zulumat al barr wal bahar or who is he who guides you through the darknesses of the land and the sea wa may yursalu riyah bushra bayna yadi rahmatihi and who is he who sends cool wind before his mercy that is rain ta ilahu ma allah is this thing done by some other god except allah taala ma yushriku he is exalted very high from what they are associating with him 
اب الخلق سما یو عید ہو اور ہو از ہی ہو کریٹس اوریجنیٹس دی کریشن فار دی فرسٹ ٹائم سما یو عید ہو اینڈ دین ریپیٹس اٹ وما یرزقکم من السماء والارض اینڈ ہو فیڈس یو پرووائڈس یو فرام دس ہیون اینڈ دی ارتھ ا الہ ما اللہ اس انذر الہ ود اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی قل ہاتو برہانکم ان کنتم صادقین سے او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم برنگ فورت یور آرگیومنٹ اف یو ار ٹرو قل لا یعلم من فی السماوات والارض الغیب الا اللہ سے نن ان دی ہیونز اور دی ارتھ نوز دی تھنگز وچ ار ان سین ایکسپٹ اللہ بل ہم فی شک منہا لا وما یشعرون ایانا یبعثون and they don't know when they will be resurrected people in the grave they don't know when they will be resurrected but in dark ilm hum fil akhirah but their knowledge has failed to comprehend the hereafter they are not ready to believe in the hereafter bal hum fi shak minha they are in doubt about it concerning it bal hum minha amun rather we should say they are blind to it They are blind and they can't see the akhirah. But Karan Nazir Kafir who is a kunna turaban wa abauna ida la bukhrajun. And those who disbelieve, they say, when we shall be dust, we should become dust. Not only we, but also our forefathers. Ida la bukhrajun. Then will we be taken out again? Lakad waidna hada nahnu wa abauna min qabl. This was promised to us also before and to our forefathers. In Haga illa saatiru lavalin. But I am not going to believe. And these are the fables and stories of the ancients. Kul siru fil lard. Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you travel in the world, in the land. Fanzuru ka fakan aqibat al mujrimin. And then see for yourself what was the end of the culprits and the guilty. What happened to the people of Ad? What happened to Samud? What happened to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah? What happened to Madian? What happened to Pharaoh? Go and see. Well, I'm not going to deny him. But you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, don't be grieved over them. Well, to them is going to come the chastisement, but you don't grieve over them. Well, I'm not going to deny him. But you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, due to their planning whatever planning they are making for you to kill you or to expel you out from makkah but don't be grieved allah subhanahu wa taala he will whatever he wishes he will decide wa yaquluna mata hadul wa'd in kuntum sadiqin and they say when will be this promise come to pass in kuntum sadiqin if you are true qul asa yakuna radifa lakum ba'd allazi tastajilun Say, it may be that what you seek to hasten on is just behind you. Maybe that chastisement is very close, has come very near to you, just behind you. Why, in Rabba ka lazu fadlin al nas, verily your Lord has bounty over the people. Well, akin na aksaruhum la yashkurun, but most of them are ungrateful. If he is not showing a clear visible palpable sign it is mercy but don't they don't know it in the rabb ka lazu fadil an nas wa in the rabb ka la ya'lamu ma tuqimu suduruhum wa ma yu'linun and verily your lord knows very well what their chests are hiding in them concealing and what they reveal and say out wa ma min ghaibatin fi as-samaa'i wal ardi illa fi kitabin mubin and there's nothing hidden in the heaven or in the earth but it is recorded in a book which is very clear kitab mubin in hada al qur'an yaqussu ala bani israil aksar al ladhi hum fihi yaqtalifun this quran narrates to the children of israel most of these things about which they have been differing wa innahu la hudan wa rahmatun lil mu'minin and this is the guidance and the mercy for those who believe in him in rabbaka yaqzi bainahum bi hukmihi and verily your lord will judge between them with his authority wa huwa al azizul alim 
and he is all powerful. He has all the authority, and all knowing. He knows everything. Fatawatul ala Allah. So you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, put your trust wholly and solely in Allah. Inna ka ala ala al-haqqi al-mubin. Surely you are upon the clear truth. What you have is the truth. Inna ka la tusbiru al-mawta. But you cannot make the dead to hear. Wala tusbiru summa dua. Nor you can make the deaf to hear. Ida wallahu mudbirin. Especially when they turn their backs and go away. If somebody is deaf, but he is facing you, then you can convey something through gestures. But when he has turned his back also, going away, now he is deaf also. Now you can't convey to him anything. In the Galatus Bible, Bata, you cannot make the dead listen, nor you can make the deaf listen, especially when they turn their backs and go. Vamanta be hadil umri and zalalat rahim. Nor you can guide the blind from their deceptions, zalalat rahim. From their error, in tusmeo illa man yu'minu bi ayatina fahum muslimun. You can only in tusmeo. You can make here only those people who believe in our revelations and who are Muslims who surrender to the will of Allah. Baida wa kal kalu alehim. And when the word becomes operative upon them. أخرجنا لهم ضابة من الأرض. We shall take out, bring forth from the land, from the earth, a beast for them to call them whom, which will speak to them. إن الناس كانوا بآياتنا لا يقنون. But these people were not believing in our ayat, in our revelations. Now this is one of the signs of the last hour. Ashrat ussaa alamatul qiyama. What events will take place before the end of this world? So one of these things, you know, three very major signs, which will herald the coming of the last hour. Number one, rising of the sun from the west. Number two, an animal, a beast, will come out from the earth, and they say it will come out from. The hillock of Safa or Marwa in Mecca, and it will speak to the people. And third is Dajjal. So these three signs are from among the greatest signs which will appear before the end of this world. For Yawma Nashroom min kulli ummatin faujan, Yawma Nashroom min kulli ummatin faujan, nimman yamkazibu bi ayatina fahum yuzaroon, and just. Visualize the day when we shall gather together all of the people, a host of those who belied our revelations, and they will be set in bands and squads. These were the disbelievers. They were the disbelievers, you know, of the highest degree. They were of the second degree. So there will be gradations also. Not all believers are equal, and not all disbelievers are equal. Na har zan zanasto na har mard mard. Kudah panj angus yaksana karn. Neither every man is a man, nor a woman is a woman. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has not made these five fingers equal. So disbelievers will have also different shades. So they will be divided into squads and bands. Hatta ida jau until when they will come before their Lord. Kala akazab tum bi ayati. Allah will say, Did you belie? My revelations, walam tohitu beha ilman, and the reason was that you could not comprehend our ayat. You could not understand. Am maza kuntum tamalu, or what were you doing? There could be two reasons. Either they couldn't comprehend, they couldn't understand, and that is why they were denying it, or they had understood. They had come to recognize that these are the revelations of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, but still they were adamant. Why should why should us believe in it? Then Muhammad will become superior; we shall become inferior. Just as was the case of the the ulama, 
the knowledgeable people of Bani Israel in Medina. Quran says at more than one places, Yarifunahu kama yarifuna abdahu. They recognize Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Quran just as they recognize their sons. But they were not ready to accept him, not ready to believe in him. You couldn't comprehend those, my revelations, and that is why you refuse to accept them. Or what about were you doing? And then the command of chastisement will come to pass against them because they did evil, so they will not speak. Alam don't they see that we have made the night for them so that they should have take rest in it, have a repose. One Nahara Mubsira. And we have made the day to see in the Fizalika Nahaya Tilikomi Yuminun. Verily, in this are the signs for those people who believe. Baba Yama Yunfahufisu and the day when the trumpet would be blown for fazi aman fi samawat wa man fi al so everyone would be terrified whether he is in the heavens or in the earth illa man sha allah except those whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills we can't say who they will be maybe the hamaratul arsh the angels who are holding the throne of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala maybe but you know because it means include the angels generally are included. When that trumpet of the hour will be blown, everybody would be terrified. Illa Allah, except those whom Allah wishes. Maybe Muhammadur Rasulullah might be the exempt. Maybe Jesus, maybe Moses also, maybe. We can't say. But you know the general rule is that all will feel terrified. And all will come to him and approach him with the humbleness, humility. And you shall see the mountains. You think they are very solid, firmly fixed. But they will move just as the Clouds move. Sunna Allah illazi atkana kulla shay. Well, this is the creation of Allah and the work of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has perfected everything. Innahu khabirun bima iftafhaloon. He knows what you are doing. Man jaabil hasanati falahu khairun minha. Whosoever comes on the day of judgment lil hasana with good deeds falahu khairun minha. For him will be the reward much better than his deeds that he had brought. Wahumin Fadai Yomazin Aminun. And they will be saved and secure from the terror of that day. Wamanjabi Sayyati. And whosoever will come with bad deeds, Fakubbat Mujuhu Hum Finnar. They will be thrown on their faces in the in the fire of hell. Haltu Zona Illa Bakuntum Tamalun. You are only being rewarded and punished for what you did. Now these are the last ayat of this surah. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I have been commanded to worship the Lord of this city, Makkah. Makkah, you know, because Baitullah was there. So this city, the Lord of Makkah is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allazi harramaha, who has sanctified this city, Baladul Amin, Baladul Haram, Walahu kullu shayin, and to him belongs everything, everything, everything. And I have been commanded to be one of the Muslims, to be included in those who surrendered themselves and their wills to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One atlu al Quran. And I have been commanded that I should continue reciting Quran. Reciting for myself also to get the strength. Ya Yuhal Muzzammil, Umal Laila Illa Kalila, Nisfahu Abin Kusminhu Kalila, 
اور ضد علیہ و رت القرآن ترتیلا دس واس فار دا اسپرچل ایلیویشن اف دی پروفٹ ہم سیلف بٹ دین ڈیورنگ دی ڈے ٹائم ہی واز ریسائٹنگ اٹ ٹو کنوے دی میسج اف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ٹو دی پیپل ریڈنگ اؤٹ قران فار دیم ریسائٹنگ قران فار دیم سو اطلو القران مینز بوت وان اطلو القران تو من اهتدا فانما يهتدي لنفسه تو ہو سو ایور گیٹس ٹو دی رائٹ پاتھ ویل ہی از گائیڈڈ فار ہز اون بینیفٹ فر من ضل اینڈ ہو سو ایور گوز اسٹری فان انما انا من المنذرین فقول انما انا من المنذرین ٹیل ہم دیٹ آئی ایم اونلی اے وارنر آئی کانٹ فورس یو ٹو کم ٹو دی رائٹ وے اٹ ہیز ٹو بی یور اون چوائس آئی ایم اونلی نذیر اینڈ بشیر I am only the muballigh, wa ma ala rasulina illa al-balagh al-mubin. The responsibility of our of our messenger is only to convey to you clearly. Wa qul alhamdulillah, and say in the end, all praise belongs to Allah. So yuri kum ayatehi, fatarifuna ha. Very soon He will show you some of His signs, and you will be able to recognize them. Wa ma rabbu ka bi ghafir nama taamalun. and your lord is not unaware of what you do now we come to surah al qasas this surah contains quite detailed narrative about the life story of hazrat musa alayhi salatu wassalam we have read it in detail in surah at taha five sections of that surah there were you know occupied by the story of hazrat musa alayhi salatu wassalam here again surah al qasas it is given some, some additional details some of the things are repeated and there are other things which are additional bismillah ar rahman ar rahim ta sin min tilka ayat ul kitab al mubin these are the ayat of the clear book manifest book نَتْلُو عَلَيْكَ مِنْ نَبَائِ مُوسَى وَفِرْعَوْنَ We are going to recite to you the story of Musa and Fir'aun. بِالْحَقْ With truth. Everything that we say is 100% correct. لِقَوْمِ يُؤْمِنُونَ For those people who believe. إِنَّ فِرْعَوْنَ عَلَى فِي الْأَرْضِ Verily, Fir'aun had exalted himself in the land. وَجَعَلَ أَهْلَهَا شِيعًا And he had made the people, divided them into sects and groups. يَسْتَضْعِفُ طَائِفَةً مِّنْهُمْ He was slaughtering their sons. يَسْتَضْعِفُ Abasing and oppressing some of them. يُزَبِّهُ أَبْنَاهُمْ Slaughtering their sons. وَيَسْتَحِيِّ نِسَاهُمْ And keeping alive their women. إِنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُفْسِدِينَ No doubt, surely, he was of the corruptors and the mischief mongers. You know, this was the command of Pharaoh at that time, that every male child born to any Israeli woman must be killed. Now, what was the reason? There's no mention in Quran. There's no mention in Torah even. But there are some stories. in talmud and you know our mufassirin have also borrowed borrowed them from talmud that is that the firaun he saw a dream that a child is born to a israeli woman who will overthrow his kingdom so on the basis of this vision and dream he gave the order Whosoever, whosoever Israeli woman bears a male child, kill. But the second reason can be, as I told you, it was a nationalist strife because Bani Israel were very prosperous. When they had entered Egypt, the kings at that time, the king was not a pharaoh; he was not a son of the soil; he was not an Egyptian. they were from the amalika and actually they were arabs so they were so to say foreign occupiers of egypt 
and they needed some section of the population to support them against any local nationalistic uprising. So he gave the best land to Bani Israel, Joshua, you know, the, near the delta of Nile, the best lands he gave to the Israelites. You go settle here. And they were very prosperous. And they multiplied in great number. But after some years, then there was a revolt, local revolt, an uprising. The local peoples drove out the Amalekah. They had to run away. And now this was a nationalist resurgence in Egypt. Again now the dynasty of Pharaoh started. And now these people, who were pampered during the former king and in their regimes, now they were persecuted. They were thought to be the agents of those enemies of Egypt. But because they were increasing in number, they were fearing that they might sometime challenge us in our land. And we have read, you know, that Pharaoh said, these are two magicians who want to drive you out of your land. So he was saying it, that actually it's a political, you know, scheme. And they want to deprive us of this land of ours, Egypt, and to occupy it. And there are a great number of Israelis are there. And now he has come equipped with these, you know, uh, magic uh, things. So that is the fear. So maybe any one of these two things can be true. In the Firon, Allah filled verily Firon exalted himself in the earth, in the land. And made its people, divided them into sects and groups. One of the groups he was oppressing, oppressing to the extent that he was killing their sons, male sons, and keeping alive their female daughters, their female progeny. But Nurido, in the Wukana Minil Mufsadeen, definitely he was from among, among the corruptors and the mischief mongers. But Nurido and Namunna Alal Lazina Stodarfu. And we had decided that we should have, we, we shall bestow our favor on those who were oppressed in the land. So now we wanted to come to help of Bani Israel to relieve them, to get the release for them. Nurido and Namunna Alal Lazina Stodarfu. Fill out, and we make them the leaders, and make them the inheritors of the rule in this land. And yet, and that we should establish them in the land, and show to Fir'aun and Haman and their and their hosts and their armies, min hum ma kanu yahzaroon, what they were dreading or fearing. I have given you the detail of this dreading and fearing of what? Either the domination of Bani Israel in Egypt due to their numbers, and now Moses by their side, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam also with them. Or as the stories are and the traditions are, that he had seen a dream that a child is born to Bani Israel who, who overthrows his kingdom. But we had we decided to show him that this is going to happen. You might have killed thousands of the sons of Bani Israel, but still, you know, one was saved. Who had to overthrow your kingdom, he was saved. Because Allah Ta'ala does what he wants. Now this we have read in Surah Taha. And we sent the revelation to the mother of Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam, and arzi'ihe, go on suckling him. Then when you have a fear that he might be found out, when the people, you know, searching the homes are coming, then you cast him into the Nile, into the river. Don't fear. And don't grieve. Inna radduhu ilayk. We promise we shall return him to you. Wajailuhu min al mursaleen. And we will make him from among our messengers. 
Now this is the wahi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala coming to a woman. But she was not prophet. Allah can send wahi and ilham to other people also. Even we have read, Aha Rabbu Kailan Nahal. Allah sent the wahi to the honey bee. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts in some animals as instincts, it's also a wahi to them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this message to the mother of Musa. فَالْتَقَطَهُ عَلُوا فِرْعَونَ So the people of Fir'aun picked him up from the river. لَيَكُونَ لَهُمْ عَدُوًّا وَحَزَنًا So that he might become for them enemy and the reason of grief. إِنَّ فِرْعَوْنَ وَحَامَانَ وَجُنُودَهُمَا Verily, not only Fir'aun and Haman, but all of their armies, كَانُوا خَاتِهِينَ They committed a mistake. They were evildoers, and now they committed this mistake, because they did not kill Musa. Why didn't they kill? وَقَالَتْ إِمْرَاتُ فِرْعَوْنَ Now the wife of Fir'aun came in the way. They wanted, they had recognized that this is a, an Israeli child. But now, wife who was beloved of Fir'aun, she came in the between, قَالَتْ إِمْرَاتُ فِرْعَوْنَ قُرَةٌ لِي وَلِي قُرَةٌ عَيْنٍ لِي وَلَكْ Oh, Fir'aun, this child will be a coolness to my eyes and yours. And we have read already, أَلْقَيْتُ عَلَيْكَ مَحَبَّةً مِنِّي Allah has put on Musa a.s. You know, it's a reflection of his own love. Those who are saw him, started loving him. So, both these things. Firstly, the appearance of Musa alayhi salatu was a very beautiful, very lovely child. Secondly, this wife. Torah says she was daughter of Fir'aun. But Quran says no, she was the wife of Fir'aun. And she has been mentioned in Surah Al-Tahreem as one of the most exemplary women, because although she was living in the house of Fir'aun, an enemy of Allah, but she was herself a saint, a waliullah, waliyah, lillah. And she was from among the Israelites. She was an Israeli woman. Just as you know, kings, they marry some woman, might have been very beautiful, and he liked him, her, and brought her in the palace. قَالَتْ إِمْرَاتُ فِرْعَوْنَ قُرَةُ عَيْنِ اللِّي وَلَكْ لَا تَقْتُلُوهُ Don't kill him. أَسَعْيًا فَعْنَا Maybe he proves to be beneficial for us. أَوْ نَتَّخِذَهُ وَلَدَا Or we shall adopt him as a son, because they had no son till that time. After some time, there was a son, and that was the Fir'aun when Hazrat Musa comes back from Madian. Now he was this, he was the Fir'aun. But till this time, the father was in charge. And they didn't know what they are doing. They were actually their enemy, Musa, who will overthrow their kingdom. But they had decided not to kill him. And in the meantime, the heart of Musa's mother became empty. You know, her courage gave way. The love and affection for the son. So she couldn't bear anymore. In Qadat al-Tumdi bihi, she was very close to disclose everything. She was close that she would have exploded that this, this was my son and I have done this and I have, you know, cast him into the Nile and go and see and please, please take it back. Had we not strengthened his, her heart, we strengthened her heart so that she could bear. So that he, she becomes from among the believers. And she said to his sister, sister of Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, to see her, go and follow. You know, that basket, or whatever you may call, which was carrying 
موسا علیہ السلام دی نائل گو گو الانگ ود دی کوسٹ آف دی ریور سی وہ سی ہے گو الانگ ود اٹ فا بسرت بہی ان جنوبن سو شی کیپٹ ان آئی آن دیٹ باسکٹ اور وٹ ایور اٹ واز اے باکس ان جنوبن فرام اے فار اے ڈسٹینس وہ لا یہ شروع دے دن نو دیٹ یو نو سم ون از واچنگ دس چائلڈ وہ حرم نہ آلے ہی مراد عاب ان قابل اینڈ وی ہیڈ پریونٹیڈ ہم بفور ہینڈ ٹو ڈرنک دی دی ملک آف آل دی فاسٹر مدرس سو مینی ویمن ول کالڈ سی دیٹ شی شوڈ سکل ہم بٹ ہی ڈنٹ ایکسپٹ ہی وانٹ ٹچ دی میموری گلیڈ آف دی مدر آف دیٹ فاسٹر مدر سو آل ورڈ رائٹ But Moses A.S. accepted none. So now there was an emergency. How will he live? He is not ready to accept the milk of any woman. So then she said, the sister, وَحَرَّمْنَا عَلَيْهِ الْمَرَاضِيَ مِنْ قَبْلْ فَقَانَتْ هَلْ أَدُلُّكُمْ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِ بَيْتٍ يَكْفُلُونَهُ Should I guide you to a family who will be able to take care of him? بہم لہن آسرون and they are for him they will look after him and they are sincere to him فَرَدَدْنَاهُ إِلَا هُمِّهِ in this way we returned him to his mother کَيْ تَقَرَّ عَيْنُهَا so that her eyes should remain cool وَلَا تَحْزَن and she should not be grieved وَلِتَعْلَمَا and so that she should come to know and believe ان نواد اللہ ہے حق قل that the promise of Allah is true what he has said اِنَّا رَادُّوهُ إِلَيْكِ we shall return your son to you don't worry لا تحضنی don't worry علا ان نواد اللہ ہے حق قل ولیکن اکثر ہم لا يعلمون but most of them know not they don't have the true knowledge but some of the very important events of the early childhood and infancy period of Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wa salam have been repeated in Quran thrice. We read them in Surah Al-Shwara, in Surah Al-Taha and lastly we read them in the first section of Surah Al-Qasas. But now this period which is beginning now, it is mentioned only in Surah Al-Qasas. وَلَمَّا بَلَغَ عَشُدَّهُ When he reached his maturity, was tawa, and became firm, atainahu hukbam wa ilma, we granted him the true judgment and knowledge. Wa kazalika najzil muhsineen, and in this way we reward those who do good deeds. Wa dakhal al-madinata ala hi ni ghaflatim min ahliha. And he entered the city at a time when the people, the inhabitants, were not vigilant. Might be, time might have been early morning or during the noon, when the people, you know, they are resting in their homes. Now he entered the city. Why? Because, you know, he was living in the palace. And palaces are outside the cities. So from his palace he came to the city and went in there. فَوَجَدَ فِيهَا رَجَلَيْنَ يَقْتَتِ الْآنْ He found two persons fighting with each other. هَذَا مِنْ شِيَعْتِهِ This was from his people, that is Bani Israel. وَهَذَا مِنْ عَدُوِهِ And the other one from his enemy, the Coptics, the Egyptian. فَاسْتَغَاسَهُ النَّزِيمِ مِنْ شِيَتِهِ So the person who was from his own people, Bani Israel, he asked for help. عَلَى النَّزِيمِ مِنْ عَدُوِهِ Against whom? Against that one who was from his enemy. فَوَقَذَهُ مُوسَى So Musa struck him with his fist. فَقَذَا عَلَيْهِ And finished him. فَالَ هَذَا مِنْ عَمَلِ الشَّيْطَانِ Actually he didn't intend to kill him. But you know, one strike with fist, you know, that that was sufficient for him to finish him. So he said, This is 
from Satan's doing. Innahu adubu mudillu mubin. Surely he is an enemy, misleader, manifestly. Qadar abbe inni zalam tu nafsi. And then he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh my Lord, I have wronged myself. Fafirli. So please forgive me. Fagafar Allah. So Allah forgave him. Innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim Surely he is the forgiver and the merciful. Qadar abbe bima anam ta alayya. Now he promised. He made a covenant with Allah. As you have blessed me, فَلَنْ أَكُونَ ظَهِيرًا لِلْمُجْرِمِينَ In future I will never support any guilty person. فَأَصْبَحَ فِي الْمَدِينَةِ خَائِفًا And in the morning next day, he was in the city fearful and vigilant. He was fearful maybe that the news that a Egyptian, an Egyptian was killed by Moses might have reached the authorities and they might be thinking about arresting him and doing something against him. So he was fearful. فَأَصْبَحَ فِي الْمَدِينَةِ خَائِفًا يَتَنَقَّبْ And vigilant, seeing if something is coming from this side or that side. فَإِذَا الَّذِي اسْتَنْصَرَهُ بِالْأَمْسِ يَسْتَصْرِخُهُ Suddenly he found that the same person who wanted his help the previous day, he is again crying for his help. قَالَ لَهُ مُوسَى إِنَّكَ لَغَوِيٌّ مُبِينٌ on that, Musa said, you are surely one misled. You were fighting yesterday with one person. I helped you and he was killed. Now you are you have taken a quarrel with another person. So you seem to be a wrong person. Falama an arada, but because he was from Bani Israel and the other person with whom he was fighting even today, he was from the other party. Falama an arada yatisha billazi huwa adu wullahuma. When he intended to seize the person who was the enemy to both, he said, that person to whom he had helped, he said, Ya Musa Aturino an taqtulani. He thought that because he had reproached him, now he is going to reprimand him and he will take him to the task and maybe he strikes him. So in that fear he said, Ya Musa Aturino an taqtulani kama qatal ta nafsan bil abs. O oh, Musa, do you want to kill me? Just as you killed a person last previous day? In Turidu Illa Antakuna Jabbaram. Surely, what you intend is to become a very tyrant, big tyrant in the land. Filarm. Baba Turidu Antakuna Minal Muslim. And you don't intend to be from among the reconcilers. And at the same time, the person came running from the farthest end of the city. Qala ya Musa, he said, O Musa, inna al-mala ya tamirun abik. The chiefs are counseling together in your case. Le yaktuluka. And the resolution is that now you should be killed. Fakhruj, inni laka minan nasaheen. So you run away from here. I am a very sincere advisor for you. If you want to save your life, now you run away from here. فَخَرَجَ مِنْهَا خَائِفًا So Musa left Egypt, fearful. يَتَرَقَّبُ And he was vigilant, looking to right and left and behind. Maybe he is being followed, somebody is coming after him. So in this way, he just left Egypt. قَالَ رَبَّنَا الْجَنِي مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ and he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, My Lord, deliver me from the evil-doing people. وَلَمَّا تَوَجَّهَ تِلْقَعَ مَدِيَن When he turned his face towards Madian. Now what is Madian? Geographically you should understand. You know the Sinai Peninsula. The Red Sea, when it ends in the north, it divides into two parts. Gulf of Suez, Gulf of Aqaba. And in between these two is the Sinai Peninsula. Now, to the west of this Sinai Peninsula is Egypt. To the east here, there was the place where Madian was. And the people, you know, lived there, the people of Madian. Now, he had to cross whole of the Sinai Peninsula to go to Madian. The most difficult task, it's an it's a awful desert. 
but he had to cross it. So when he turned his face towards Madian, he couldn't think of any other place to go and stay there and be secure that he will not be caught there. So he turned his face, started going towards Madian, and he said, Asa Rabbi an yahdi ani sava sabi, maybe and I hope that my Lord will guide me on the right way. Right way to the Madian, to Madian. I am not lost in the desert. Now we don't know how much time he took for crossing on foot the whole Sinai Peninsula, the desert of Sinai. But when he arrived at the water wells of Madian, there he found a group of people, Minanas, yes, school. They were watering their flocks, sheep and goats, flocks coming, and from the well they are drinking and going. Then the next shepherd comes and he waters his flock. And he find besides them two women keeping back their flocks. They were stopping their, you know, goats and sheep. They shouldn't advance. He asked them, what's the matter with you? Why are you not going forward and taking your flocks to drink water? Both of them said, La Naski, we don't water our flocks. Hatta yus Till that time that all these shepherds are gone. Vabuna Shaykhun Kabir, and our father is a very old person, old man. He's so old, he can't, you know, enter into any fight with anybody here. So if we scuffle with these people, this is my turn, how are you coming? So I, we can't take that risk. So when all of them have taken their flocks and watered them, then we take the chance. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati muzrik al-Hakim. Allahu Akbar The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number, 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.